Hey hey and welcome to map one of the Plutonio experiment. This is Congo. The interesting thing at the start is that we have the choice of heading straight down the tunnel or we can head to the left or right and it takes us up these steps here. Now we can actually grab a shotgun here and give ourselves a small advantage by grabbing a backpack and blue armor very early in this level here. So we're going to do just that. I do find this opening area very interesting because these shotgunners can pretty much peer down on you and shoot you with very little regard for your safety. So there is a chain gunner up there and we're going to take him out. Excuse me. There's also two chain gunners up in the window there that we want to make sure don't get too many shots in on us. Now, once you come into this courtyard, there are multiple ways you can go. You can go up the stairs there, in there, or in here. Be careful when you come around that corner there, because there are some chain gunners hidden inside this wall here, and they will get you from behind. You also need to be careful because there are chain gunners hidden inside this room here. Chain gunners can be a right pain in Plutonia, and we'll be discussing that as we move through the levels. There's a very small box mountain here, which we're going to get on top of. And by grabbing the super shotgun, we end up with this arch vial. So yeah, we're seeing arch vials on the first level here. So that should give you a good indicator of where Plutonia is going to be aiming for. So we're going to head back to the central area here. We come inside here and this area actually gives me slight E2M2 vibes. Not much but like there is a faint similarity to a certain room in that level where you also had to draw enemies out to get a bunch of ammo that was hidden in the rooms Ooh, nearly got hit by that rocket there i just want to take these guys out i don't want these guys running around too much you will notice that i am using the plutonia midi pack here just to add a bit of spice to these because I, I think it's a good midi pack. But we are just going to grab all the ammo here that we can because we'll be making good use of this through the rest of this level. And as we head back out here, there's two directions we can go in. We can head up the stairs or we can head in here. Now you can see in the middle of the room there, there's a blue key. Now we can't access that right this second. Unfortunately, we will have to come back here once we've got the red key. But I do just want to get rid of these imps early on. Now I'm going to open this door. I'm just going to run it back out here. Just because I don't want these chain gunners getting in too many shots on me. But yeah, we can't grab that blue key right now because we hit a bit of a dead end here. So the only direction we can head in is up the stairs. Now, this room here is pretty interesting because there's a bunch of chain gunners on the far side over there. But also to our left, there's also a bunch of mancubus. This is where the rockets we collected will come in useful. We'll grab that box of rockets there. You can actually run over there and you can do a dash run over the gap there to the exit if you really don't fancy doing this level. So there is another arch vial here and it is going to keep reviving that chain gunner there so we do want to get rid of it before it just causes a bit too much of a nuisance so this square room here is pretty interesting because there's three different directions we can head in and you can see there's a borny boy who's raised up there's we make our way across so to the right there's a armor which we don't really need there is a switch to the left here that we do need to press however so we are going to do just that so as we make our way over here, you can see that a Pain Elemental and a Caco Demon are going to come out of this gap here. So we've got rid of the Pain Elemental. I just want to make sure that we don't get overwhelmed here. If 
you want to die, that would be lovely. Thank you. There we go. So, there are two chain gunners to the left and right of this room, so we just want to make sure we get rid of them before we trigger the center platform there. So there is a trap there when you... When you try going for the red key there, a sort of platform raises up behind with a mancubus on it. It's a very little fun puzzle that we, we don't want to put too much thought into it though. Now you can see if you look on the map there, this is actually marked as a secret and you get this by bringing down the lift here. And yeah, we've got the red key finally. So we know where we're going here because we bumped into the red door earlier on. The main thing here is we hit the switch and just be careful as you're heading out here because there are two chain gunners who will try to ambush you as you head back out. Plutonio loves to make use of its chain gunners. And if you head up the side here, you can actually look down where the, from where the imps were. There's no real reason to want to come up here, but it, it is a nice little view. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of Congo. It's not a super long level, but it does feature a bunch of diverse enemy selections. As you can see, the walls are all green there. Get used to seeing this because this is the exit platform we'll be seeing a lot of in this ward. I think there's a lot of positives from Congo that you can take away. It's a nice little challenge on ultraviolence. It's not too difficult, but it is a nice step up from what we've seen in TNT and Doom 2, for example. I don't know if I'd say it's better than those starting levels, but it's certainly a fun outing for the start of Plutonia here. So we're going to take a look at the PS1 version of this level, and you'll notice that Right at the start, there's a bunch of imps way off in the distance down there. We don't want them shooting fireballs at us, so let's head off up here. Gotta be careful here because these shotgunners do tend to be quite aggressive from the jump here. You'll notice quite a few texture changes throughout this level, and you'll also notice that they haven't used the grey sky that was in the PC version of this one so they've reverted to the Doom 2 sky which is fair enough I guess. But we'll head down the stairs here and we'll deal with those additional imps. We'll shoot you in the face. Just let these imps come to me rather than me go hunting them down. Don't want to waste health unnecessarily. So I want to get that chain gunner over there. So remember there are two chain gunners in that window up there that we will have to deal with. Just going to see if I can get them to walk in front of the window here. You've just got to be careful with chain gunners because if they start getting a shot on you they can chip away at your health pretty aggressively. Especially when you don't have a good line of sight on them. Speaking of line of sight. These two chain gunners are still here. Let's grab the chain gun here. We'll get rid of that chain gunner there. You can see it's a lot darker in this room than it was in the PC version. It's a lot more moody and more atmospheric. Are my bullets not connecting there? That's very weird. So you can see my bullets aren't even elevating to where the chain gunner is there. That's pretty weird. There we go. Don't know what was going on there. But as we make our way around this little box area, there are two imps on top and it's worth remembering that these PS1 versions of Doom do not have the arch vials in them. So instead of an arch vial, this level just puts a revenant there, which isn't nearly as daunting as you'd imagine. It's not that difficult to deal with him, because the revenants in this version of Doom, once again, run very slowly. We will grab that box of ammo though, because it's really going to be useful. But yeah, this room is pretty much exclusively here for you to get the super shotgun early if you want it.
So my plan here is to draw the revenants out and take them out with the super shotgun. You can do this with the single shotgun, but honestly, it's a bit of a pain to be honest. Some enemies are just better suited to the super shotgun, in my opinion. I'm gonna grab the boxes of rockets here, which would be very useful. So now that we've stocked up on the rockets there, let's have a nosy around the level here. So you can see there's still a bunch of chain gunners over there. You can use the rocket launch here. There we go, I think we took them all out in one blast there. So I don't think there's Mancubus. No, there's just Bony Boys on this level. Whether you consider the Mancubus replacements here an upgrade or a downgrade is completely up to you. Personally, I don't think they're that much of a threat. The Mancubus have really strong projectiles, whereas those guys move really slowly, so it's kind of a shame that they were taken out, but, you know, it is what it is. Speaking of replacing with Bony Boys, there's... Yet yeah, more Borny Boys. And as we head into this area, you can see that it is relatively unchanged. Just gotta be careful of all those fireballs there. Excellent. So we just want to wake up those chain gunners there, get rid of them so they don't jump me later on when I forget about them inevitably. You can see again, we can't really do much with the blue key right now. So we may as well continue on through the level. So there is a chain gunner to the side here. Just want to make sure we get rid of him. Ooh, there is a bony boy there as well still. I think he dodged that first one. So yeah, the, the revenants don't pose that much of a threat in this version of Doom, unfortunately. So you can see they got rid of the pain elemental in this level. So instead of having a pain elemental pop out there, we get caco demons. I mean, this is a fairly big level with some fairly big rooms. So I'm not surprised they've kind of taken these steps to trim things down. We'll get the obligatory secret there. And then we'll head into this room. So you can see that there are still chain gunners on either side. It's important that we get rid of them. There's no reason to let them kind of live. Oh look, another Borny boy. We'll grab the red key here and we'll head towards the Red door. What you'll notice as we're exploring this PS1 version of this level is that the geometry of the level has actually not been touched so much in this. There's not really that many alterations that have been made. It's more to the texture work that things have been changed in certain aspects. There you go, we got rid of the chain gunners. I think there's another one over here. There he is. Dude was just chilling and walking and I took him out. But yes, there's very little reason you'd want to go up to those side parts unless you really want the health. But yeah, that's pretty much Congo on the PS1. As mentioned, I do like this level. I think it's pretty interesting. It's a pretty fun introduction to TNT. Notice the 
green, green texture has gone from the PC version. And yeah, I do think it's a strong first step for Plutonia. I don't think it overdoes the traps, which really helps it out in my opinion. But yeah, has this crashed? Okay, it's not crashed. But yeah, Congo's a fun level in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think of Congo. Are you a fan of it? Are you not a fan of it? Where does it rank among the first level in the official Doom games for you? And thank you very much for watching.